Hello, everybody. I am Sven Lutz from Arixa. And okay, the second slide. Is it working? Yes, okay. <coughs> so I have working been uh, for almost three years for Arixa. I have experience in several technologies, back-end, front-end. I've done business intelligence, also ETL processing. And now I'm mainly focusing on our Angular applications. So who is Arixa? Arixa is founded in uh, 2005, and uh, we deliver IT software consultants, and we also do fixed price projects. We are located in uh, Herk de Stad. So for our software development, for our fixed price projects, we offer a broad range of possible solutions from PC software, web software, and also uh, mobile software. Because of uh, the short time schedule, I will jump immediately to the Angular-related topics. We have the Ac Arixa Academy. In the past, we had two, two Angular sessions from Peter Kassenaar. He regrets that he not co could not come today. He had already another appointment. If you're interested in these uh, free sessions, you always can have a look at our website. So what do we actually do with Angular? We are creating hybrid mobile apps to install on the device itself, like iOS, Android, and Windows. So why hybrid mobile apps? One code base for multiple operating systems. So we have apps for uh, iOS and Android. We started with these two. That was actually quite easy. Later on, we added Windows. That was a little bit more painful. That was not straightforward. But uh, finally, we succeeded. So. We also have, uh, how are we doing that? We use Cordova and also NG Cordova. So NG Cordova is an Angular extension on top of the Cordova APIs that makes it easy to access the Cordova API functionalities with Angular. So here's a little bit of the architecture. Um, like I say, the Cordova plugins that you can use give access to your network, to your storage, to your device, for your camera, and you can use then these functionalities in your app. Here's some more tech stuff from all the things that we use. We use the PhoneGap build server <coughs> to build actually our apps, and I don't know, uh, how many people here use uh, the phone gap with Cordova? Oh, not so much. Uh, so uh, if you want to play with it, if you have want to build one app, it's quite easy. The phone gap build server offers uh, a free account actually for one app. If you then uh, build your Android app, you just can uh, scan in the QR code and actually test your app and download it. For iOS, you need a developer account. It's a, it's a little bit more difficult. If you want to have it uh, on Windows, for the Windows build, Cordova build is now uh, supporting it lately, but we use actually uh, the Apache Cordova tools for Visual Studio to do that. There you also can play with it for free without actually having uh, the developer account. That one you need only for publishing in the store. Um, further on, we um, are using Ionic. I don't need to explain Ionic here. Um, what we also have, Gap Debug, that we use. Actually, that's a tool for uh, debugging on the physical device itself. That one is quite good. It's not uh, giving support to iOS, iOS anymore, but uh, with Safari, you can use the Web Inspector to debug on your device. That's also quite good. The Visual Studio 2015, sometimes slow. So if you use Visual Studio Code, then the development is a lot faster, but then you don't have always access to the Cordova APIs. Furthermore, we have uh, also the Angular CLI project, which is uh, quite great, I think, that you 
can have immediately your application with the ng build command to put it in production. As ta task managers, we still use Gulp in our older projects. And uh, furthermore, last but not least, what are challenges? In all software projects, it's nice to observe customers that are happy when they receive the features that are promised. But the technical people will read something else here, probably. I thank you all. This was it. <laughs>